is leptin and what is its role? Well, leptin is a hormone and it is a hormone that is released from fat cells. And most people don't think of our fat or our adipose tissue as being a gland that can release hormones, but in fact it is. Your adipose tissue is enormous it's a, and it's widespread all over your body. It is a collective of billions and billions and billions of fat cells. Uh, in a healthy individual, that would be like 20, 25 billion fat cells, and obese individuals can have 10 times that amount. So what happens is each of these little cells give a report on how much fat they have in their fat globule. And there's a general consensus, and the fat cells all speak as one. So your fat might be distributed in different areas and things like that, and that can have an effect on the impact on the final report, but the brain receives this report that I call the leptin report. And what that does is gives the brain information about how much fat is in the fat inventory. It's like a fat stat. It tells the brain whether we can have plenty to run on or if we're going to need to put some pressure, either subtle or strong, on the body to go out, seek food, eat more so that we can increase our fat stores so that we have a better margin of safety. So the leptin wasn't even discovered until the mid-90s. Uh, we discovered it in the laboratory with experiments with those fat rats and things like that. And there was a ton of interest in leptin because everybody thought that leptin might provide the new pill to cure the obesity epidemic, like it's some sort of uh, you know, viral infection or bacterial infection, scraped knee or something that you can take a pill to treat. So that pill would have made a lot of money, obviously, a lot uh, less invasive perhaps than liposuction to just vacuum away your fat, but that didn't work out to be true. And the reason why is that human beings, unlike rats, are a very naturally fat population. We have a lot more fat cells than most mammals. And the way our leptin works is to make sure that we have adequate fat. So what has happened with our leptin report is that it gets falsified because we are using so many external means to try and manipulate it already. And what happened with the leptin manipulating medications, which they keep trying variations of these, is they're not going to be money makers for them because the body always, the human body, always finds these workaround solutions. So in a laboratory it seems to work just fine, but in the real world, where the laboratory of life, it doesn't work well at all. And so it's not a money maker, so all that big interest in leptin kind of faded off. But you need to be interested in leptin, just like how I needed to be interested in leptin. Because if we don't follow the laws of leptin, then we're going to have a really hard time using weight, which is, remember, we can't lose weight. We have to use it. And we're going to keep getting locked in fat storage mode. And it can cause a lot of other side effects. Leptin's in it for the long run. So we have leptin and we need leptin for the history of the survival of our species. It is, I call leptin, leptin is the Lorax. Leptin speaks for all your fat cells because they have no tongues. And they tell the brain, who has no ability to read this otherwise, what the current status in your body is. So when your weight regulating mechanism is ticking along, working well, because you're in homeostatic hum, you're in good balance with your environment, then the leptin report is accurate and the body can make appropriate decisions based on the fat stores you currently have that will be readily available to be used as, a f as fuel. So you'll have energy, you won't have food preoccupation. So we really, really, really want a good leptin report. And we really want an accurate leptin report. But that doesn't change overnight, so you're going to have to follow the rules for a little while in order to influence your leptin report and make it act in your best interest for the long run rather than in the short run.